Hello Infiniteers! I just want to do a quick video today to make a few changes to the diving chamber and the outfitting room that I built last time because I am just not happy with that ceiling and also the diving chamber looks really empty and bland and boring. <laughs> so these two rooms need a little bit of help and I had a few suggestions from viewers on how to improve these two rooms so I want to give these ideas a try and um, hopefully this will be a very quick video. So for the ceiling there's a couple things I was thinking is we could put some of these wedge blocks in here just to kind of give it some shape and uh, we could run these down all the way along here at least until we get to about this point and I can't do one on the other side because of that pipe climb and that would cover up the hole so we have that problem and if we go past that we also hit that pipe <laughs> so um, I'd only be able to do that for part of the room but I think that's one option. The other option I was thinking of, if we look under platforming toys, we have this Droid Factory floating platform. And I was thinking, it's got these cables that are kind of hanging down on the sides. And it's got some lights underneath. And I thought that could be kind of interesting add some visual interest to this thing. Just trying to figure out if I got this centered or not. <laughs> and so I was curious too what that would look like. And get back in this little corner where I can spin that camera around and take a look. That looks a little bit better. Doesn't completely cover the ceiling but I think that just looks better. And normally when you're in here the camera is going to be at this level anyway. And so having a little bit of detail up there, I think I like that. And I actually think I'm going to leave those two blocks there on the end because that adds a little bit of definition to that end of the room. The downside to this thing is because of the length of the room I could put one of these here but then the other one's going to hit that pipe climb so I can only put one of these in here. I don't have enough space to put two of these in but I'm thinking since I like that I'm wondering if this would be a good thing to add into the diving chamber as well. Yeah, that helps the ceiling in there, too. So I like that. And um, I'm also wondering, <laughs> while I am at it, JetBlast190 had suggested adding a couple of wedge blocks up here on top of the... Uh, on the ceiling for the galley. And now I'm wondering if maybe this might be a better choice. So let's take a quick look at the galley with that kind of a block in there as well. Yeah, I don't know. You don't really see the cables hanging too much. I guess you do a little bit. I actually kind of like that. I think I like that. Yeah, his other option was to add the wedge blocks in there. Not these, but um, the balcony wedges. Those. And we could certainly do that for the uh, pantry here.
That adds a little bit of character there to that room. Because since you're near the top side of the uh, ship, that makes sense. All right. Now, another suggestion that I had, again from Jet Blast 190, was to put these railings around the hole in the floor of the diving chamber. And the idea here is that in the movie, there's actually kind of a raised ring around this. This would help it look a little bit more like that. And it would also prevent somebody who's wandering through the room, maybe heading to the engine compartment, from accidentally falling into this hole. Now what I don't know for sure is if that will interfere with a pipe climb. Because my idea is to have a pipe climb in this hole that gets you in and out of the ship. So if we put that down and we come through a piece of terrain under that, we'll give that a quick try. And just for fun, we'll style this with the Moro Bay Seascape. As if we're under the water, which we're not currently, but... Alright, so if we go and climb this... Hey, he hops right over that railing. That's perfect. Yeah, so that's not actually going to be a problem to put that railing in there. I like that. Okay, now he also suggested putting in some Nomancian wall corners inside that hole to make it look round, which now that I have that pipe climb in there, that's not going to work for the entire hole, but I'm curious how that would look. So if you come over to these corners, And we put this in here. I'd only be able to do it on those two sides. You now those have little lighted panels on them, so I'm not exactly certain that that would be a good idea to do. But if you want to do that, I don't think it would be a problem. I'm going to go ahead and take those out. But it does make that hole look a little more round and a little less square, at least on one side of it. All right, and then the other thing I was thinking was we had put some of this machinery in from the decorations drawer. These kiln boilers and stuff fit this setting perfectly. So I thought it might be good to put some of these around the perimeter of this room. just to add some detail in here. And again, I don't want to go crazy with this because we need space for the camera to move around, but just having some pieces of machinery here would be good. And I'm going to leave that open, that little section, because what I'm thinking is when we get into, what is it, gameplay toys? I'm going to have a hatch that you can actually open and close for the underside of the ship, and I'm thinking this hang bar would be kind of fun to do for that. You could use a button or a trigger or something, but... So I was going to connect a block on a path to open and close the opening there, and then you could come over here and use that to... Uh, to open and close that hatch. I think that interactivity would be good to have later on. All right, so we got ceilings. Not much I can do about that end of the ceiling, though. Like I said, I can't put those wedges in there because of that pipe. But most of the time, the player is going to be heading down in that direction anyway after they drop down the hole. So I'm not really too worried about the room behind me. 
And then I think when you come in here, this looks a little bit better having some of those decorations on the wall and the lights up above. So I like that. I think those rooms look a lot better now. And I'm glad I did a separate video for these changes because this way when I do the next video, I can focus entirely on the new area that I'm going to build, which will be the ship's engine compartment through that hatchway behind me there. Thank you for watching, and thank you to JetBlast190 and everyone who's provided feedback and suggestions for improving this build so far. The Nautilus is looking better and better all the time, so I appreciate your input. Before you go, leave a comment and let me know what you think of the changes, and if there are any other improvements you would recommend. That's all for me today. See you next time.